Alright, what's going on guys? It's Munchie and today I bring you guys a pretty different commentary, pretty different video, in fact, on my channel. Um, there's just some things that I really just want to talk about. Um, gameplay in the background is a little V2 rocket with a different PPSH class setup than usual, but I'm not even going to stress about that. I'm going to just jump straight in. Um, there's there's a lot of people out there, right, on YouTube that want to take streaming and or like content creation to their next level and, you know, possibly pursue it as a job. Now, you got to understand one thing. If you want to join a team, especially like a big team, like, I'm not going to name any big teams, but, you know, there's some teams that do have recruitment challenges going on. And you got to understand that just because there's a recruitment challenge going on, you don't have to feel obliged to go for it just to try and get into the team because it's i'm gonna i'm gonna be real i'm gonna be honest it's more than likely that you won't get in because of maybe you don't know anybody and you know just because sometimes one or two of the members may come through the stream and say yo what's up it's most likely that um sadly they won't pick you up it's the honest truth and you know it does happen like that because of because you may not know somebody that can directly vouch for you or you don't look entirely good when they come in the stream it could have been your worst stream it could have been one of your best streams but you never know what could have happened um you may not get in and you just you gotta understand that that if you are going for a recruitment challenge you, you may not get in and if you don't get in you know you don't feel upset you know there are some people that that just you know can bullshit their way into teams without really working hard for joining the team you know what i mean you could have you could have somebody grinding for a specific team for months, ages, and they will never get in. And you can have somebody that just legit are slicks and like, are like, basically brown nose their way into a team. If you don't know what brown nose is, you just basically, you basically be the teacher's pet to every single one of their members, and then eventually, you know, it's, oh yeah, this person's pretty good. Yeah, get him in because I know him. I know him. I know. Him. It's not necessarily about what you know or what you do. It's just more about who you know. Um, sort of with this COD community and it's a bit messed up because you do have a lot of good pub stompers out there and there are some good pub stompers that I know people like K1, Impact, Requalify, um, Oblivion those are just like some people that I know off the top of my head that are very good pub stompers but you know they're not really big they're not really like they are known fair enough they're more known than me but they're not really big in terms of like channels or like not in a big team um, I don't know why because you know because they don't kiss up to people they don't ask sleep people I, I don't know maybe they just they're just more content with just staying very like with their group of friends and being in not so much of a big team um but it's up to you know it's completely up to them but they're very good they're very good like all of them they can all like they're much better than me but you know stuff stuff happens um with with recruitment challenge and stuff you guys just don't have to feel so obliged to have to go for recruitment challenge because there's that small chance the very small chance that you could get in because i'm going to be honest i'm going to be real with you guys that it's more than likely that you won't get in if you don't know any of the if you don't know any of the members you haven't really got an established fan base so you don't pull a lot of viewers that and that you can't sort of like bring something to the table in terms of when i mean bring something to the table i mean do something for them they're more than likely won't pick you up and it's the honest truth is the, it's the hurtful truth but it's sort of why i don't necessarily go for recruitment challenges i would rather just grind for a team consistently while improving myself and improving my content improving my channel focus on yourself while going for a team so that if somebody does offer you the chance to join that team that you do want to join you can just say yeah i want to join that team you know i've been looking to join that team for quite some time um like a team that i really want to join right now is carnage do i think that they'll pick me up right now nope because you know I'm not really that established so I don't look at it I don't look at it like that that you know when Carnage had that recruitment challenge I have to go for it I have to go for it don't look at it like that you gotta look at it sort of like well if they do have a recruitment challenge I may go for it if they if Carnage do have a recruitment challenge will I go for it I probably will I'm not gonna lie because I do want to join the team but you know you may have one team I'm gonna let me put this in for example right let's say you have a small pub stomping team that you want to go for you want to join that team because you know you still want to make a name for yourself okay and then doom have the same recruitment challenge like during the same week or like during the same month you're gonna more likely go for doom because if you join doom it's really big right that's just showing like you're just like you're not very loyal like if you're going for one recruitment challenge stick for it like back in iw like three four months ago i wanted to join tap x you know i did have some like maybe like one or two teams at the time that asked me to join i was like i just told them 
you know, I would like to join, but like I wouldn't mind joining, but I don't want to join for like a week or two and then possibly get the um, the chance to join Tapex and just just like disband, like just leave the team if that makes sense. They understood where I was coming from, and obviously was very respectful in the decision I was making. But I grounded for Tapex and I did get, in, which was lucky enough, and I couldn't have got in without people that I knew, such as E Vanquisher. Um, and, and some other people that could really vouch for me that were in Tapex already that could sort of say, yeah, he's quite good. Let's pick him up. He does work hard. He does do that. Um, here's, here's, here's a little uh, thing for the uh, streamers and content creators out there. Um, if you guys have one sub and pull maybe one or two viewers every single stream that you post and you stream for hours, whether you got 100k and you're pulling thousands of, thousands of viewers at times, and you know your channel is really popping off. You gotta understand that you gotta sort of look at YouTube as as a job, right? If you go into a a job interview, I'm gonna sort of, I'm gonna relate this to COD, right? You go into a job interview, right? And you have two guys, all right? One can commentate, one can stream, one can uh, he can drop the gameplay. He's got a very good personality. He can he's really interactive with his audience that comes into his streams. And you have one guy that can just drop gameplay. Who's, who's seen more of an attractive pickup in your eyes? The guy that can do more, right? That's what you, that's what you guys got to understand. That you guys got to be very versatile with what you guys can do because that helps you get a lot further than somebody that can only drop gameplays. If you guys can commentate like very well and um, drop the gameplays, you're very interactive. You're a very interactive streamer. You can do you can do a lot. If you can do a lot more, basically. Um, you're more likely to get a lot, you can get a lot further, a lot quicker. It's not about how hard you work, but it's about how smart you work. I'm gonna put a little picture on the screen right now that, that sort of goes with that quote where you can see like a bunch of guys just pushing along some objects and then you can just see the one guy, that one guy that just stands out. That's, you gotta be that guy, you gotta be that one guy that stands out. Well, I mean, how would you be that guy that, that stands out? You just gotta be yourself. Honestly, you just got to be yourself. Whether you're the whiny bitch that screams at the game 24-7, or or you're the guy that just that just absolutely destroys every lobby use it to your advantage don't you know if you're a real grinder a real leaderboard grinder don't reverse hustle yourself you know put that shit in the title you know try and get yourself known that you're a real leaderboard grinder a solo leaderboard grinder and that you just destroy everyone you just grind the game out no matter what i've seen so many people reverse hustle so you don't know what reverse hustling is it's like let's say you grind and you're grinding for leaderboards but you're not doing anything to sort of gain like exposure or just like or well, you're not trying to use it to your advantage that's reverse hustling if if that makes sense you guys gotta understand that you gotta you gotta use your skill set to the best of your ability to get as far as possible you know a lot of people do hold themselves back you guys gotta understand that i'm not telling you guys to grow an ego and be the most cockiest fish out there because not everybody likes that but you gotta understand that there's a difference between having an ego and being confident if you can back back up what you're saying, that you can provide this for the team, you can provide that, and you can do it consistently, then fair enough. Um, the only team that I'm really interested in joining right now would have to be Carnage. You know, they're like they're like the only team that I really like look up to. A lot of their members. I'm not saying there are a lot of members that I do, you know, watch from other teams that I may not like the team, but I don't sub to them because of their name has that little that little title before them. I've said this numerous times. I sub to them because they're hilarious. They're funny. They entertain me. That's what YouTube's about, all about entertainment. If you guys can entertain a decent sized audience, then you'll get a lot further. Um, but you, you guys just gotta understand that. Whether you're like whatever you're doing, you just you know, you're not always gonna have a consistent you know, you know, like a consistent craziness that happens around your channel. Some people it happens a lot quicker and some people it takes a lot longer for you guys to like blow up but you guys just gotta understand you just, you just gotta be consistent you just gotta work at it every day you guys just don't give up you know the moment you the moment you quit is the moment you fell that's when you know everything just goes down just don't quit it's been numerous times i'm not gonna lie there's been numerous of times where i've streamed like 10 times in a row i've only got five viewers like it, it, it is you know i know what it's like it's like well what's the what's the point if nobody comes to your streams and nobody notices you, you guys just gotta understand you just gotta push through it it's not the easiest thing to do i know it like it still happens now sometimes i have 30 people in my stream and it's pretty crazy and sometimes i've only got like five because of notifications and other stuff like that you guys just gotta stream through it be consistent and and 
You got you just gotta be unique. You gotta be unique and the way how you be unique is you have to be yourself. Don't try and be like a lot of people say, oh you guys gotta be the next dish. You're gonna be the next that no, I don't wanna be the next somebody else. I just wanna be myself. Like I don't wanna be the next person, I don't wanna be the next dish, I don't wanna be the next I wanna be myself, bro. I wanna be known for being myself, I wanna be known for being unique. But I mean I'm just I'm just leaving you guys with something a little a little something, you know, to think about. Um, if you guys do enjoy these type of commentaries, let me know. I'll make more of them. But, I'm out.